A blessed morning, everyone, and hello, my dear senior high school students. Welcome to week five in physical science. I want you to be enthusiastic and participate actively on all our activities and discussion. Make sure you also have with you your notebook and pen for your key takeaways. In today's session, the students are expected to use simple collision theory to explain the effects of concentration, temperature, and particle size on the rate of reaction, and also to define catalysts and describe how it affects reaction rate. Then, for the specific learning tasks, the students should be able to number one, define collision theory and describe how different factors affect the rate of chemical reaction. Number two, determine the role of catalyst in rate of reaction. Number three, differentiate physical change from chemical change. And number four, appreciate the importance of chemical reactions in our everyday life. I know you are all excited to learn so let us now begin with our first activity entitled Picture Formula. In this activity, we will be revealing terms which will lead us to our lesson for today. So what are you going to do? You are going to determine the missing word or words analyzing the given pictures and letters following the mathematical operations. And you will be given five seconds to guess the word. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Let us analyze the first problem. We have here a tiger minus G-E-R plus melon minus L-O-N is equal to what do you think is the answer? Kindly comment it below. And your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is time. Very good. Are my instructions clear? Kindly click the heart react if the instructions are already clear to you. Wow, I could see a lot of heart reacts from you. I think you are now ready for more picture formulas, okay? For the first picture formula, we have phone minus O-N-E plus Y-S-I plus car or C-A-R minus R plus L plus chain minus I plus GE is equal to, kindly comment your answers below. And your five seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer is physical change. Good job. How about the second one? We have cherry, minus RRY plus milk minus LK plus CAL plus chain minus I plus AE is equal to kindly comment it down and your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is Chemical change. You got it right. Now, can you still identify the third one? We have cherry minus RRY plus milk minus LK plus CAL plus read minus D plus CT plus onion minus ON is equal to. Kindly comment your answers below. And your five seconds starts now.
time's up? The answer is chemical reaction. You got it right. And for the final round, we have CO plus ball minus BA plus IS plus potion minus POT is equal to Kindly comment it down and your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is collision. Excellent. You have revealed all the terms related to our discussion for today. So again, let us recall all the terms in our first activity. We have physical change, chemical change, chemical reaction, and collision. This time, I want you to use your prior knowledge to describe each of the following terms to level up your understanding. So are you ready for the next activity? Comment down yes if you are really ready. I am now seeing a lot of yes on the comment section. That's good. Okay, with that, let us proceed to our next activity, which is entitled K Match. I called it K Match because letter K stands for K pop. Hello to all K pop lovers out there. If you are not a K pop lover, well, just enjoy the activity. And match means matching your prior knowledge to the given clues. In this activity, you are going to choose the best K-pop song title from the playlist that matches the word related to our topic. And you are also given 5 seconds to decide for the best answer. Analyze and recall the science concepts you have learned way back your junior high school. And I want you to group to the music every time that you will get the correct answer. I know you are all excited and let the K-pop matching begin. The first word is physical change. Which among the Blackpink songs is related to the term? Is it ice cream, chillin', chillin', ice cream, chillin'? Ice cream? How you like that? How you like that? Or Forever Young Forever Young Kindly comment your answers below And your 5 seconds starts now Time's up The correct answer is Ice cream, chillin', chillin', ice cream, chillin', ice cream, chillin', chillin', ice cream. Ice cream. Very good. How is it related to one another? Kindly comment it down. That's right, because melting of ice cream is an example of physical change. Very good. The next word is chemical change. Which of these BTS songs is connected to the term? Is it I can make it right? Make it right? Stay gold! Stay gold or Dynamite? What is your choice? Kindly comment it below. Timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is... Dynamite. Good. Why? Kindly comment your answers below. Very good. Because explosion of dynamite is an example of chemical change. Good job! 
How about the word chemical reaction? Which among the twice songs is suitable to the term? Is it Make me feel special? Feel special? More and more, or fancy. Kindly comment it down, and your five seconds starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is. More and more. Very good. How come? Kindly comment your answers below. Exactly. Because during chemical reaction, more and more substances are converted to form more and more new products. Great. And for the last word, we have collision. Which of these? Do anyone songs is related to the term? Is it <laughs> fire? I don't care. To my heart I don't care. Or lolly, lolly, oh, lolly. lollipop. Kindly comment your answers below, and your timer starts now. The correct answer is Fire! Very good! How is it related to collision? Kindly comment your answers below. Correct? Because fire is one of the factors that affect the collision rate of atoms in a chemical reaction. Well done, my dear students. Now, we can easily understand the concepts behind our topic, which is all about collision theory of chemical reaction. Oh, by the way, I remember we only have two months left before the New Year's Eve, right? So what excites you most during this special holiday? Kindly share it to us and comment your answers below. Just like you, I am also excited on new opportunities, the food on the table, the gift giving, and my much awaited part is the countdown together with a colorful fireworks display. Since I was a child, I am really fascinated on it. How about you? I'm sure you did. Well, have you ever wondered how this magic works? Kindly comment your answers below, and I am really excited to read all of it. Wow! Great ideas! Don't you know that an exploding firework is essentially a number of chemical reactions happening simultaneously? When the heat is added, it provides enough activation energy to make the solid chemical compounds back inside the firework, burn with oxygen in the air, and convert themselves into other chemicals, releasing smoke and excess gases such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen in the process. Meaning to say, chemical reaction played a vital role and a magnificent firework display. So, what is a chemical reaction? Kindly comment all your answers below. Very good! A chemical reaction is a process by which chemicals interact to form new chemicals with different compositions, or simply, the process where reactants are transformed into new products. 
just like in our example a while ago, the reactants are the firework and the fire, which react to one another, resulting to a colorful firework display, also known as the product. So how is this possible? Kindly comment your answers below. That's right. That is because of collision. What is collision theory? The collision theory states that particles must collide with one another in order for reaction to occur. The particles also require enough energy and enough speed to break and form bonds when they collide. The minimum energy required for reaction to occur is what we call as the activation energy. Some reactions may require very little, but some need a lot more energy to get started. Let us try to explain it further. Have you tried playing billiards? Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Okay. What happened to the cue ball and the yellow billiard ball? Kindly comment your answers below. Very good. The cue ball and the yellow billiard ball hit one another, causing it to bounce off in different directions. Meaning to say, a reaction will only take place when there is a collision between particles represented by the billiard balls. Is it clear? Kindly hit the heart react if you understood it well. For you to easily remember the concept behind collision theory, keep in mind that collision frequency is directly proportional to the rate of reaction, just like the molecules in this moving picture. The greater the frequency of collisions, the higher the rate of reaction. On the other hand, the lesser the frequency of collisions, the lower the rate of reaction. Is it clear? Kindly click the heart react if the concepts are already clear. Now, let us proceed to the different factors affecting the rate of reaction. The first one is the reactant concentration. Increasing the concentration of one or more reactants will often increase the rate of reaction. This occurs because a higher concentration of reactant will lead to more collisions of that reactant in a specific period of time. As what you can see, low concentration leads to a lesser collision between particles, while a higher concentration it leads to a greater collision between particles. Um, are you familiar with the Coke and Mentos candy fountain experiment? If yes, kindly click the like react, and if not, kindly comment, I want to know. Are you done? Now, let us watch this simple experiment. Okay, so in this experiment, as the mentos candy sinks in the bottle, the candy particles abruptly collide with the soda particles causes the production of more and more carbon dioxide bubbles. And the rising bubbles react with carbon dioxide that is still dissolved in the soda to cause more carbon dioxide to be freed and create more bubbles resulting in the eruption. Well then, what do you think will happen to the reaction rate 
if we are going to put more Mentos candies inside the bottle? How about the reaction rate when we will only put one Mentos candy? Kindly comment your answers below. I can really see that you are learning because all of your answers are correct. More Mentos candies will result to a faster reaction rate, while one Mentos candy will yield to a slower rate of reaction. Very good! The second one is the increase in temperature. Generally, an increase in temperature also increases the rate of reaction, and an increase in temperature will raise the average kinetic energy of the reactant molecules. Do you have any idea what is kinetic energy? Kindly comment your answers below. That's great! When we say kinetic energy, it refers to the energy associated to the particles in motion. Now, I want you to take a look at this. Which among the cold and the hot temperature has the higher kinetic energy? Kindly comment your answers below. Is it the cold one or the hot one? Very good. The hot one. That is because the particles will move faster when temperature becomes higher now are you familiar with this anyone do you have any idea what is in the picture yes that's right this is a glow stick which is commonly used during halloween parties as lamp for scuba divers and campers as light necklace or even during concerts have you ever wondered how glow sticks glow? Kindly comment your answers below. Good! Great ideas! When you bend the glow stick, the vial snaps open and the two solutions flow together. The chemicals immediately react to one another and the atoms begin emitting light. That is how it works. Amazing, right? But the glow won't last for a long period of time. What can we do to extend the glow of the glow sticks? Do you have any idea? Kindly comment your answers below. Very good! We can extend its glow by placing it in a glass filled with hot water. Because the hot water increases the kinetic energy of the particles inside the glow stick that makes it brighter. You are all doing great! The third one is the proper orientation of molecules. Take a look at this. What have you observed in the moving picture? Kindly comment your answers below. Very good observation. Even if the two molecules collide with sufficient activation energy, there is no guarantee that the collision will be successful. The reason for this is that molecules also need to collide with the right orientation so that the proper atoms line up with one another and bands can break and reform in the necessary position. That is why properly oriented molecules lead to more effective collision. Understood? If yes, kindly click the heart react. Okay, let's continue. For the last factor, we have the presence of catalysts. How do you describe a catalyst? Kindly comment your answers below. 
Very good. A catalyst is a substance that accelerates a reaction by participating in it without being consumed. It also provides an alternate reaction pathway to obtain products. Don't you know that almost everything in our daily life depends on catalysts? Yes, that's true. Just like the production of the following. Plastics, soap, the food we eat, fertilizers, synthetic materials, car converters, and even the human body. Catalysts are truly a fundamental part of our everyday life. So, is everything clear? If yes, comment your avatar rejoicing for a yes to our discussion for today. Now, let us find out the difference between a physical change and a chemical change. Let us begin and analyze this picture. How can you say that this illustration is showing a physical change? Kindly comment your answers below. Okay, very good. It is a physical change because the lemon is still a lemon after being sliced. The only difference is the size and the shape of the lemon before and after it was sliced. Good job! Let us now analyze the second picture. How can you prove that this illustration is showing a chemical change. Kindly comment your answers below. Okay, that's right. It is a chemical change because the wood log was transformed into pile of ashes after it was burned. Excellent. Now, let us further elaborate the difference of the two. And please do take note of the following. In physical change, no new substances are formed. While in chemical change, new substances are formed. Another, in physical change, the composition of the substance is retained. While in chemical change, the composition of the substance is changed. Lastly, in physical change, the product may or may not be reversible. But in chemical change, the product is not reversible. This time, let us try to identify whether the following examples will show a physical change or a chemical change. Ready? Okay. You're going to comment PC if your answer is physical change. Or comment CC if your answer is a chemical change. Understood? Kindly hit the like react if the instructions are clear. Ready? First is cutting off paper. Is it PC or CC? Comment your answers below. Very good. Cutting of paper is a physical change because no new substance were formed. It is still a paper. How about the second one? Rusting off iron. Is it PC or CC? Comment your answers below. Correct. Rusting of iron is a chemical change because new substances were formed. How about the third one? Fermentation of fruit juice. PC or CC? Comment your answers below. That's right. Fermentation of fruit juice is a chemical change 
because the composition of the substance was already changed. And the last one, breaking of glass. Is it PC or CC? Comment your answers below. Good job! Breaking of glass is a physical change because the composition of the glass was retained. You all did a great job. So do you have any questions regarding our topic for today? If yes, kindly write it down on your notebook so that you could address your questions to your subject teacher on the follow-up discussion. If there's none, let us have a 10 items assessment on what you have learned on our discussion. For the part A of our assessment, you are going to classify the following examples as physical change or chemical change. Just write PC if it is physical change or CC if it is a chemical change. Okay? Number one. Boiling of water. Write your answers on your notebook. Number two. Digestion of food. Number three. Bleaching a stain. Number four. Bending a metal. And number five. Tarnishing of silver. Are you done? Let us now proceed to the part B of our assessment, wherein you are going to write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number six. Chemical reaction happens when reactants collide with one another. Seven. Catalyst is a substance that speeds up reaction without being consumed. Number eight, activation energy refers to the minimum amount of energy to initiate chemical reaction. Number nine, in lower concentration, molecules collide more often. And for number 10, as the temperature increases, the rate of reaction decreases. Okay, are you done? Now, let us check your answers. For part A number 1, the answer is PC or physical change. Very good. Number two, we have CC. Number three, the answer is CC. Number four is PC. And number five, CC. For part B, the answers are number six is true. Number seven, true. Number eight, is also true, 9, false, and number 10, false. Okay, kindly count your scores over 10. And may I ask, who got a perfect score? Kindly hit the wow react for those who got a perfect 10. Those who got 6 to 9. Kindly hit the heart. React if your scores fall on 6 to 9. And for those who got 5 and below, kindly hit the like react. Okay? So, to sum up our discussion for today, I want you to complete your exit ticket. After the conduct of today's lesson, I've learned that, write what you have learned, then, I want to learn more about, write the things you want to learn more. And lastly, I've appreciated what I've learned specially, write what 
captured your interest most. And here ends our discussion. So I will be giving you a few seconds to complete your exit ticket. Congratulations, everyone. You did a great job. I hope you had so much fun learning today. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe and see you soon. This has been Miss Mary Rose Angeli Sorata Scatus from Citerra Francisco Memorial National High School, now signing off. To God be the glory.